Top U.S. military officer General Charles C.Q. Brown spoke with China's General Liu Zhenli after more than a year-long halt to high-level defense talks between the two countries. China stopped the talks in late 2022 to express its displeasure over a visit by then-U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to Taiwan, and leaders of the two countries had agreed to resume them when they met last month. Brown, the chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, discussed the importance of working together to responsibly manage competition. And spokesman Captain Gerald Dorsey added Brown also discussed the need to avoid miscalculations and maintain open and direct lines of communication. Now, Beijing reacted furiously to Pelosi's August 2022 visit to Taiwan. It scrapped cooperation with Washington on key issues, including climate change, anti-drug efforts and military talks, and launched its largest ever war games around the island. Now, China claims that Taiwan... China claims Taiwan as its territory and has vowed to bring the island under its control one day by force if necessary. Now, it bristles at any official contact between Taipei and foreign governments. Tensions between Washington and Beijing were stroked further during 2023. An alleged Chinese spy balloon was shot down over U.S. Air airspace after traversing the country. And Taiwan's president, Tsai Ing-wen, met Pelosi's successor, Kevin McCarthy. American military aid for Taipei remains a contentious issue even now. And U.S. President Joe Biden met his Chinese counterpart, Xi Jinping, in California last month for their first summit in a year. And they agreed to restore the military-to-military -military communications and ease tensions between the two sides. A Pentagon spokesman described Thursday's call between Brown and Liu as a positive development. He also said, and I quote, when you have two large militaries, it's imperative that we keep lines of communication open in order to prevent miscalculation. While high-level military-to-military ties had been cut off, other top U.S. officials were still in communication with Beijing and lower-level military talks continued.